So I'm Samir. I'll be doing this for you all. Yeah? All right then. Guys, so some of you all, since you all have already been my students, what I'm going to do now, we may have done it before as well. So anyway, you all joined this program because you all wanted a full revision. Anyway, no, that's why no, you all joined this program to do the whole thing all over again. Correct, no case? Yeah. So it will be like that only. So certain areas you already may know, certain areas you may not know. It's fine. We will just do the whole thing again, guys. It will start from absolute scratch. From the very beginning, it will start. Still, all right, then. May uh, anyone got scholarship for the may for the foundation exam or whatever? Y'all got scholarship and game, no? You, but you came first. Foundation. You uh, placement test. Ah, right. So, what was the scholarship you got? First term was free. Nice. So, you got the highest in the placement test. Yeah. I didn't ask for your name. My bad. I didn't even notice you. You just entered. How come I didn't notice you? It's not because you're black or anything like that, okay? I genuinely didn't notice you, so don't don't uh, get upset or anything like that. Huh? Huh? What? So you saying, what's your name, darling? Which school? Vidura College. Ah, right. and we are having a lot of students from Vidura College, actually. Nice, nice. Good stuff, huh? Got the highest replacement test. Not bad. Okay, guys. May let's move on to business activity, all of you. Okay, let's have a look at it. Now, Munawar, can you tell me what a business is? Because I know you know. So can you just use your own words and just tell me what would you call a business to be? Okay. So businesses produce goods and services. Okay. To satisfy the needs and wants of the customers profitably. No business wants to sell without making a profit gains. What's profit? Profit is that extra money that you make. So your cost is, let's say, 50. You're selling it for 75. Then 25 is your what? Profit. Correct? No, any business wants to make profit. Otherwise, why would you be in business? There are some businesses. They are not interested in profit. Charitable businesses are there. No? Social uh, enterprises, social organizations and all that. NGOs, non-governmental organizations are there. But very rare, very few. 99% of the businesses, if you take, they are interested in making a profit and stuff like that. Correct, no? Mujai, sorry, sorry, my bad. Munawar is a surname, no? My bad, my bad. Yeah. So, guys, that's a business for you. So, it's basically uh, 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 an organization that produces goods and services to satisfy your needs and wants profitably. Thank you. Did everyone sign? I don't think so. I all didn't get Okay, guys. Now we look. Then, uh, when I told you the definition, I told you they produce goods and services. So now there is a difference between a good and a service. What's the difference? Good is something. Very good. Good is something tangible. That means you can see it, you can touch it. You understand? That is what you mean by good. Now, if you take this bottle, it's a good bung. You can touch it, feel it. You understand? You, you, you can see it. No, this, is, this is a good service. You can't touch it or you can't see it or anything like that. Like, like what I'm teaching you right now. So institutes are service. No. So right now what I'm teaching you, that the teaching that is taking place is a service. Can you touch it? Or can you be like, ah, this is only his work, vocal cords. Wow. Wow. Can you touch like that? Can you even see the vocal cords coming? No, no. Service is intangible. You can't see you understand you can't touch but it benefits you you understand it benefits you uh, you use it for different different uh, these things businesses can either produce goods or services so we decided to do a service some businesses decide to uh, uh, sell goods so it's up to them you understand now isa my friend has a t-shirt brand called lcy so making t-shirts and selling, is it a good or a service? It's a good. Who said service? Good, good. It's a good. Correct? No. Then I have another friend. His dad only owns fashion bug. 
The food, the whole restaurant experience is known as a service. Get it, get it. That's how it is categorized. They come under the tertiary sector. Clear. Wow. Look at that. Fulfill societal demands. Uh, wow. Mom, did you get it directly from Google? Let's see. If that same definition comes, what is a business? At GPD, not, not from Google, not bad, huh? Uh, chat GPT and all I eat. <laughs> Not bad moment. That was a very good definition. But it looks like a. <laughs> Anyways, guys, let's move on then, all of you. Me, I'm from your R end. But yeah, yeah, I remember. You used to come to Watelani. Yeah? Guys, give me a second. I'm a big slight. Connection delays. Let me change my Wi Fi router. All righty, guys. May so where am I? Yeah, so that's a business that's a good and services for you. Clear. So, what are the features? Like, if you take a business, what do they generally uh, may what option or good? Hopefully, it's just COVID. No, not COVID, no. Nobody cares about COVID before, like before, no? Before if someone COVID, coughs, coughs, what do you think? Corona only, definitely Corona. You get it? Now people have forgotten about it also. Yeah? Nobody gives a shit about it. Before, people were embarrassed to cough. No, no, no. Embarrassed to fart. They would cover their fart by coughing. Now they are covering their cough by farting. During COVID time, but now it's back to now COVID is history exactly. Nobody gives a shit. Yeah, in vain I took all that injection. You understand? I still remember the first time I went to take the injection gig. I took Sinopharm. No, Sinopharm is a bloody joke. I actually feel the injected water. Seriously, because I didn't get fever. Nothing happened. Nothing happens in Sinopharm. Pfizer and all, they, there is some effect. They're like, no. Sinopharm is a bloody joke of injection days. Before me, there was another fellow. Okay, He was quite excited about this whole process of getting injection and all. Okay, <laughs> He he's keeping his hand like this. So I, I was there. No, you don't feel a thing also. He kept his hand like this. He's taking his phone to take the selfie. So by the time he's opening the phone, the nurse is like, I did, I did that. I swear, huh? I was there. I was, I like, it was him and then me. She's like, I already put the injection. Get up, get up. Huh? You put the injection? What? What? Did, you put the injection? What? May, uh, I didn't take a photo, so I didn't even feel anything. Bakre is fully confused. Then he's asking me, Potangala. That means, did they actually inject? They actually injected. I saw because I was, after him, was, I was looking at him and waiting. You don't feel a thing, bunk. That bunker was convinced they didn't inject him. Even I didn't feel a thing. I just kept like that. The only thing I felt was she was holding like this, and then only her hand I felt. That's it. That was there. Then, like the joke of injection, only we put. Okay. Guys, so what are the features of a business activity? Like, what do businesses generally do? They produce goods and services. I told you all that. Uh, these goods and services are consumed by customers. That means customers are people who buy uh, businesses' product. Ah, okay. So there is a difference between being a customer and being a consumer. Anyone knows the difference? So you could be a customer or a consumer. Yeah. Very good. Very good. What's your name? Abdurrahman. So, Abdurrahman, your parents are my customer. You are my consumer. Correct? No. Because you didn't pay. No. You didn't pay. No. 
your parents pay correct no so your parents are platinum customers but are they consuming the service no you are consuming the service you are my consumer you understand sometimes the customer is the consumer now for example i will go to a restaurant and eat i am the customer and the consumer correct no but let's say i go to the restaurant and i bought food for my daughter then my daughter is not their customer she is just the consumer customer is me because i am the one who is purchasing no you get it there is a difference between a customer and a consumer did you all understand that yeah lovely guys so hope you all understood that to make any goods or services resources are used resources means these natural resources and all was used okay. so if you take this service this business what are the resources that are generally in use ac so ac is using what resource fuel electricity electricity is generated by fuel no generally uh, 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 diesel no so diesel correct right in front of you you have the tube no that is made out of trees you all know no? papers come from trees no huh? tables chairs plus chairs is plastic tables wood again from tree you get it any business you want to do some sort of resource you need you need to use some resources to do that business clear so for us it's mainly the trees and a uh, fuel and stuff like that for other businesses it may be something else you understand so like that different businesses need different resources to run it businesses can be affected by external factors what do you mean by external factors that means these are these are not inside the business outside the business factors that can affect you it can either positively affect you or negatively affect you example let's take covid okay that's an external factor right covid is not something that happened inside the business no covid happened in the entire world you get it so when covid happened did businesses get affected yeah so many businesses closed down also bang you understand businesses went bankrupt so many issues took place you understand so that is businesses can be affected by external factors like corona before covid in 2019 what happened 2019 april in sri lanka easter sunday how many businesses got affected because of that just after easter sunday then this stupid covid came you understand like that those are external factors it could be the floods it could be earthquakes some bloody earthquake to the earth the sri lanka was dancing a little that's it like that some actually felt the vibration anyone felt the vibration no no one felt the vibration no did you fart on that day Uh, ah <laughs> yes so businesses can be affected by external factors is that now there are positive ways business external factors can affect you huh? for example me uh, so since we have a boy from bigro college he will agree with me clear lot of local students are starting to do london ne i don't know if you know this in my evening class uh in vattala that day i had a class cambridge as and edexcel as okay there were 27 students physically for the first time in my life 17 students were from local schools only 10 students from lyceum and this as so other they will join later 17 were from local schools then i spoke to them apparently exams keep getting delayed now okay and uh, even if you do the exam results don't come after 6 months also results have not yet come up. are these things true ah uh, there you go clear then what will happen people will get fed up with local exams these are external factors it's positively affecting london exams so the 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 how do i say the rich local crowd now local exams there are so many rich people doing as well they are doing local exams because uh, the fathers did local school they also go to local school it's not because of money you understand these rich local uh, students are doing london you get it so that's a positive external factor 
I am praying that local exams should keep getting delayed more and more. Why? Then more students will do London. No, simple as that. Simple as that. The rich parents will definitely do London after that. And once they get used to London, they won't go back to local. You understand? Guys, may London one paper, when you are registering for BS, one paper will be about 38 to 40,000 for one subject, both paper one and two. Any idea how much is a local paper? Free. Free. You don't have to pay for the paper. Free. Did you know that? You go to college. Huh? It's free. Paper is free. It's not even 50 or 100. <laughs> Guys, uh, still uh, results don't come. Exams get delayed. This and that. So many issues are there. Too many issues with local exams. That's why there is a bit of a problem in the local market. You understood, Isa? You all seen a local school? No. St. Thomas, is it? St. Peter's. All right. Okay. Business. Why you didn't want to do locals then? You never had the intention of doing locals. No, you went there, but you had the intention of doing London funding. Then got it. So because it is free. Mm -hmm. Okay. Businesses aim to make profits. I already told you what a profit is. What did I tell you? Profit is profit is the difference between your selling price and cost. You get it? So if you're selling something for let's say 200, cost is only 150. Then the balance is known as profit. Every business will try to make a profit. Yes. So if we are charging from you all 150,000 a term, trust me, our cost is less than that. Correct? Think and see, if our cost is 180,000, we'll be charged 150,000. Then you want us to run at a loss? For what reason? Any business will try to make a profit. Restaurants, schools, this, that. Every business will check the cost, then try to charge something higher so that they can make a profit. Simple as that. You understand? All right. Then. So those are the features. Gains. Then, then comes the economic problem. What's the economic problem? There is an opportunity cost. What's an opportunity cost? Is? Opportunity cost is simply correct. the next best. Are we getting these notes too? Uh, Nive, y'all should have got it already. Can you check your email? If you registered like today morning, then you will get it tomorrow, I guess, or by next week. Depends on when did you register anyway. Was it today? Or like last evening, something like that. So once you register, I registered yesterday. Okay, so I think still they haven't updated it. Uh, because they take about 24 to 48 hours to update the emails. Uh, you will get it from next week. Don't worry. Okay, anyway. If you don't get it next week also, just let me know. I will get it done for you. So hope that's fine. All right, then. guys. So opportunity cost, like what some of you all told me, is the next best alternative that you had to give up. Clear. So in order to consume a particular product or service, you had to give up something else. Now, option today, you had Sir Rimas's class in the morning and then my class in the afternoon. Correct? No. So, I mean, I'm assuming you will have lunch at Platinum today. So have you bought cash today? No. Then what you're expecting? You bought cash? No. So about how much? 500 to 1,000? Correct? No. Now for 1,000, let's say you bought 1,000. Okay. You're hungry. Where are you going to go? Sumanadisi, really? Easy, no? Below can eat. All right. So what do you normally eat at Sumanda DC? Hmm? Pastry. That's good. I don't know. You can eat about five, six pastries for thousand rupees, I think. Not bad. Well, let's say you want to go to Dynamo or may KFC or something like that. You agree that if you go to Dynamo and spend a need, then you can't go to KFC after that, correct? No. So KFC becomes your opportunity cost. You were a bit confused as a Dynamo, KFC, Dynamo, KFC. You decided to go to Dynamo, then KFC becomes your opportunity cost. Correct? No. So guys, opportunity cost is simply the next best alternative for good. Now, uh, Mujahid, yesterday you didn't have any classes, right? At Platinum. So yesterday at this time, what were you doing? Football. 
Explain. Okay. Today at this time, what would you have done? Sleep. Yeah. So sleep is your opportunity cost. Not a sleep. Hope it's worth the sacrifice. No. Sleep is. It's been so long since you woke up at nine o'clock. But waking up early is a good habit. Good habit. Yeah. And then now it's 12 30, but you would still be sleeping. Yeah. Yeah. How many hours do you sleep? Countless. It's not good for your body. You just need six to eight hours of sleep. It's a very sleep, yeah. You can sleep. You're anyway doing online. No, I'm not gonna know anyway. You can sleep if you want. You can uh, keep the laptop on, go to the bed then, sleep like that. But if your mother comes, then there is a problem. Okay, then you have a problem. So yeah, I'm up from five. Doing what? Huh? Huh? Class up. From five o'clock? What kind of a class starts at five o'clock? There. Don't know whether he's going for some special class. Computer science. Computer science at Platinum was 7.30. And you're coming online. You could have literally woken up at 6.55 and come for class again. You're coming online, bitch. Why did you have to wake up at 5 o'clock? Ah, he lives in Saudi, right? right. How did you know that? It was accounts class. Ah. Habibi, you're in Saudi, right? I didn't know that. Right, right. All right, is it? Yes. So that's opportunity cost. I don't want to waste more time there. You anyway know that. Yes. Let's move on to factors of production. Guys, so some of you may want to do business one day. And I hope and pray you do business because business is where the money is. You can take all the richest people, even in Sri Lanka, even out of country. Very rarely would you find them to be workers, employees. All business people, you understand, billionaires and stuff like that are business people. You have big dreams and stuff like that. First, you need to start waking up early if you have big dreams. Yeah. That's one quality most rich people have. You understand? They sleep for about six to eight hours. That's it. Okay. Uh, guys, any business you take will require these four factors of production. With, without these four, it's difficult to do a business. Land, a place for your business to set up. So if you take platinum, it's in a land. We are not in the sky, no. I mean the sky. But is this Hogwarts? No, no. Huh? It's in the land. Labor. So when you came, you all might have registered today and stuff like that. So those were labor. The workers who are working in front office, back office and all that. They are our workers. We need them. Without them, guys, it's difficult to uh, run the business. Agree? No. You want me to do the front office work and come and then teach? And how can I do that, man? It's not practical. No, I did that. Seven, seven, eight years ago when we started, we did that. But can't do that now. Now no time. Now we have to look into other, other, other things. You get it? So that's labor. Capital is the investment. The money that was needed to set up all this. You understand? The first floor, second floor, third floor. Some of you all have come for the first time. So this is the second floor. There is one below. The, you know, this is the third floor. There is a second floor. Then there is first floor as well. Clear. Some of you all have three, seen all three floors like Senan. He has seen all three floors games. He was coming from September last year, no? Yeah. All right, then. Okay, so that's capital for you. We needed money. Capital is the investment money that you need. So, Ade, you look like someone who is going to do business one day. You don't look like... And the Vela Karamunji only is only there. Vela Vangaramunji only is only there for you. What business would you like to do? Don't tell me, James, please. How was my guess? You look like a Jim Carrier son. Seriously. Real estate means that you want to do apartments or housing complex or what? Or you want to flip houses or what? Depends on what's trendy. Both will always be trendy. People who want houses will buy houses. People who like apartments will always buy apartments. Houses, you will need less investment. 20% of the investment compared to an apartment. Apartment, a proper one, if you're building, you will need, let's say, 100 crores. This, you may need about 10 to 15 crores. If you're building in Columbus side, if you're building in the amount, you can do it for less than 10 crores. 
ट्रेवल एजेंट नाइस नाइस ये देख सो ट्रेवल एजेंट ये ना कैपिटल रिक्वायरमेंट इज लेस बट इफ यू आर गोइंग टू डू रियल एस्टेट कैपिटल रिक्वायरमेंट इज हाई करेक्ट नो इट्स यूजुअली लाइक दैट ओके गाइस क्लियर इन श्रीलंका जेम्स आर कॉमन नॉट कॉमन सो यू आर फ्रॉम बेरवल इज इट दैट बेरवल ऑफ अस्तपुर दे हैव दिस यूनिक लुक इन देयर फेस can look at them and tell whether they are from Beerwala or Ratnapura and of them so this baga has that uh classic Beerwala uh full look on the he has guys <laughs> guys okay. so uh, that's capital for you depending on the business that you want to do your capital requirement will differ so let's see how many of you can guess so let's say uh your abdullah no Abdullah, let's say you want to put up a restaurant, a small basic restaurant. You want to put capital requirement is high or low? Correct. To put up a restaurant, guys, you don't need so much money. About forty to fifty lakhs, if you have, which is not so much money for your information. You can put a very decent restaurant. You understand? But let's say you want to start. Ah, uh, let's say you want to. Start selling uh, cars. Uh. Okay, let's say cars. Car dealer. Uh. Car dealership. Car sale. Ah, uh, let's say you want to start a car sale. You need a big investment. Car sale also. There are two ways to do it. Some car sale buggers. They don't invest much. They get your car. They haven't paid you. They will sell the car. They will take one million and pay you the balance. You get it. Some cars, car dealers, they buy the car from you. You understand? Keep in the car sale and then sell it. You get it. So depending on what business model the car sale buggy is doing, so a lot of car sale buggers will buy the car and keep and sell. You understand? Then the investment requirement is very high. Because uh, I know a fellow called Carty Weight Motors. He's doing. He has about three showrooms now. Investment is close to about eighty uh, uh, crores. Eighty crores he has invested. Yes, understand. Another one called Volstar. He does only high-end vehicles. He has also invested about seventy seventy-five crores. Understand? Correct. The one Range Rover is about six seven crores. No, but that they went to is uh, this thing. There are four Range Rovers. Understand? Then this that 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 I can imagine. Maybe he's exaggerating a little. At least fifty crores you will need, correct? No, but you can do Japanese small vehicles. You can do for about, I think about ten crores. You can do these low end with ten, may with ten, Aqua and may Prius and Tata and yeah, Maruti Suzuki, Swift and all that. Those Japanese vehicles, you know, they are body van. There are fellows doing like car sale like that for that investment is there. Some car sales you go all high end vehicles they need big investment is clear. So that's capital for you depending on what business you want. How many of y'all want to do business and y'all have figured out what to do? Just raise your hands. What business? A car sale. So you can choose one of the two models. You get it? Car sale, Lilati, Jim, Jim. Anyone else has decided? You high-end coffees, so you will have to spend a lot of money on interior. Correct? No, it has to be beautiful, very relaxing, and stuff like that. High-end means it has to be Colombo, expensive coffees. Yeah, you may require about thirty million. Three crores, you can do a very decent cafe. Uh, no, three crores is too much actually. Two crores, you can do a wonderful cafe. You understand? All right, then. That's interesting. That's interesting. Your Bora crowd itself will come to support you. No. Mm. Would it be expensive to franchise a company? Very expensive. Dunkin' Donuts and all franchising is expensive. What about Tim Hortons? Expensive because franchising means you have to pay a lump sum to get the brand down. No, you get it, and they won't easily give. 
so uh, it's interesting that he bought it uh, bought that topic game so manhattan fish market is actually owned by my friend's brother my close friend's brother he was telling me when they wanted to franchise manhattan fish market six months his brother had to go for singapore for some train in that two weeks training first training you know what clean he was washing the dishes cleaning they know he's going to franchise here clean because they wanted the franchisee to start from the ground level you get it from the cleaning to <laughs> this next level training you get it they'll do all that then you have to pay a lump sum you have to get it down you have to do a lot of interior work etc you understand but it's uh, i mean something like tim hortons and all will mostly most probably sell no the thing is whether will they franchise is the question high chances they'll tell no you understand for them they said yes manhattan and all because they already have established companies like bright lighting and bright gems and uh, bright electronics and they are already quite established so then when they see the company profile they don't mind giving you you get it same take all franchise business they all done by established business soft logic abans car gills this that you get it guys so that's capital for you did you understand capital gains is everyone okay with that yeah then what's enterprise enterprise is that business man or business woman you understand so nowadays we have trans buggers also no so business day business man business woman and they like to consider themselves day isn't it they know they are oh, yeah i think they, they they prefer to be called they or oh. they 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 them know yeah they these buggers who are needed to combine the land labor and capital without a businessman or woman you can't combine the land labor and capital land is there labor is there capital is there businessman is needed to combine those you understand if if a businessman or woman is not there then you can't run a business there that entrepreneur is needed that entrepreneur will only combine these three and you know start making money and things like that you get it otherwise it's just land just people just money that's not going to do any good entrepreneur combines the three starts a business does well you get it take the chai wala colombo concept guys yeah? Bagga was a pilot. Do you know that? He was a pilot. The one who started Chaiwala. He was a pilot. During COVID, he was just at home. No, you understand? Chaiwala started during COVID. For your information, just before COVID, I think it was after Easter Sunday or something like that. Okay. These buggers decided. Okay, they 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 pilots means they travel to other countries. So they have seen this Chaiwala concept there. These are tea stalls in Sri Lanka. They didn't see tea stalls like that. Clear. So then they came and started. Look at it. Land is where that chai wala is. Labor is the workers who are making this tea. Capital is the money that was needed to come up with this truck concept. Clear. But all of that would be useless if there was not a good inter or the entrepreneur. Correct? No. Without entrepreneur guys, they would have never done that. they would have never combined these things and done it business man or woman is needed guys yeah uh, for this what is easter sunday easter sunday is a very holy day for christians that's what easter sunday is yeah okay guys so hope you all understood that guys hope you all understood that scarcity what scarcity guys scarcity is where there isn't enough resources to satisfy everyone's needs and wants clear So there are finite resources, infinite wants. You understood this? Sir? Your wants are never uh, satisfied. Trust me, I know. You understood? So I came from the scratch. My parents were not rich. Clear. So then, in my head, I was thinking, okay, if I make this much money, true story, yeah, I'll be happy. And I got there. Then I was thinking, if I get to this level. Even better, no, correct, no. Then I got there as well. Now I'm thinking, are if I can go to that level, and let's say in two years' time I get to that level, do you think it will stop there? That is where scarcity comes. You get it? 
man is never satisfied a man or woman one of the contentment is a very difficult thing don't you agree being content with what you have very rarely it happens you generally want more and more correct no guys yeah is that that greed that greed for more and more is just generally in built into the human systems i guess yeah guys scarcity comes there but some people don't have scarcity yeah you understand they just have so much whatever they want just just like that they can get clear so there is this uh, there is this king in a small country called brunei he has the world's largest car collection 650 of rolls royce 450 of ferraris 300 of lambos you understand next level uh, baga has about 6000 cars guys 6000 cars he has one of a kind limo gold plated gold everything you understand in that only mostly he travels i don't know why he has so many other vehicles some of it he might have never gone just put this into perspective okay 6000 vehicles means there are 365 days a year no so every day he is going in a new vehicle let's say 6000 divided by 365 it will take him 16 years just to go in each vehicle once 16 years just to go once 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 in each you won't believe bagger has the same vehicle many in different colors you get it in different colors he has the same ferrari in different color same this thing in different color like that 18 palaces four private jets you get it next level no next he has three yachts as well he has one of the most expensive yachts in the world as well. yachts are those uh, boats and stuff like that crazy bloody riches next level guys you know sir so those buggers i don't know if there is scarcity for them but regular people like us we definitely have scarcity there is a the dinner of resources resources mainly money uh, to satisfy our needs and wants i guess correct no yeah? so hope you all understood that guys hope you all understood that so let's move on to uh, specialization and division of labor and stuff like that okay what specialization what do you understand specialization to be specialization is simply when businesses or people concentrate on doing what they are best at you just concentrate on what you are good at and you just keep doing 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 that you will become a master in that that's it that's called specialization ah uh, yeah those videos that i have shown you i'll show you all today as well bagas are next level guys um why morning to evening that's what they do same thing when you keep doing again and again you will actually become good now for example mujal i started teaching about 9 years ago exactly 9 years ago i started teaching okay you think i was so calm and composed and teaching like this 9 years ago now 9 years i have been doing the same thing over and over and over and obviously i will what specialize no you get it when you do the same thing over and over again now before my class you are at sarimas's class no now he is teaching longer than me he is teaching for 11 years 11 years the bagger is doing debit the credit there credit the debit there obviously he will become good his wife also works in front of his azima is azima you all know her eyes are usually like this that is because she doesn't get enough sleep because of this bug this bug even in his dreams guys he sees double images she is telling them that in the night bug comes close she gets excited husband and wife no obviously he will go close to her only otherwise he will go to the neighbor's house no no <laughs> that will become a problem coming close to the wife is okay uh then she is thinking baga is going to you know cuddle and kiss and stuff like that no baga hugs and 
comes close and he's sleeping. He's in his dreams. Comes close and shouts. Credit, man. Debit, debit. Debit, name, Credit. The woman freaks out and wakes up. Pow. Pow. Or again. Ninde anna rap. Uyidi hema gaya or koi ninde anna. Bagay is so specialized. He's even dreaming about double edge. Pow. That lady. That's why your eyes are like tiny. Well, let's see. That is because of lack of sleep. You know, that's the no? Sin, sin. You all play for her, huh? You all play for Sari Mas. That he gets well soon, yeah? Otherwise, I feel... Don't I get bored doing the same thing? Not really. You know why? Uh, it's the new batches, no, no. We all have a new batch. So it's new faces. So it's exciting like that. Okay. So far, it hasn't happened yet. But it might happen one day. Maybe another five to six, seven, ten years, maybe. I'll be like, what the hell? Every day is the same thing, same thing, same thing. Yeah, it hasn't happened yet. It might happen. You get it? It might happen. He's correct. Because you're doing the same thing, right? Same thing over and over again. Like a bloody machine. Uh, after a point, you can get bored. Correct. Hasn't happened yet. Hopefully, it doesn't happen anytime soon. But can happen. Correct. So that's specialization for you guys. Yeah? Take these guys out, guys. These, these experts. Bloody... Crazy fellows, now the speed at which they can do. This is specialization and division of labor for you. Check this out, guys. Yeah? Cutting. Packing the playing card. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Here, guys, yeah. There is a Mr. Beast's video as well. Let's see. I haven't seen this. Pass IP certification exams with exam topics, offering real exam questions and answers for all IT. This person is fast, but this person is faster. This person might even be a robot. Sonic speed. We're going to react once again. This, by, this guy became trans. No. Christina now. Yeah, yeah, he did a surgery and became a girl to the fastest workers on the planet. Cause it got a lot of views, yay! So, this is the world's fastest cashier. That boy, crazy. And what, there's just, that's not- Oh my gosh. You're walking with your cart to check out and you see that man and you go, he's gonna take this mountain dew and put it back. Yeah. <laughs> you get home and you go to open your soda, it just <laughs> blows up you, all over you. You cut open your chicken and it explodes and it's not even supposed to explode. You're like, that doesn't even make any sense. Those are propane tank. Propane. And he, he's just yeeting them. Those are Look at him. He's doing it in like jeans too. That's one of those anime moments where you were like, wait a minute. You put down the camera, you go, I could win. But then who would film him? Cause he's, True. they would have to find somebody faster than him. Which might not be possible. Maybe that's why he's doing that job. Yeah, what if that's what somebody. Usain Bolt turned into? Just the cameraman? He's the, the next the, guy. For the 100 meter dash. So like Usain Bolt, you're the guy. So this is apparently the world's fastest dealer. <laughs> eh. I feel like I could do it faster. I think Chandler can do it faster. <laughs> Chandler's pretty yeah. fast. <gasps> I want this. Oh wait, Buy it. if this video gets one million- Come up this. So really see wait, is that Anderson Cooper? Yeah, Anderson Cooper is on everything. I don't- Wait, is he gonna throw paint? Oh! oh! That's so cool. You don't see it till it's upside down. That's... And now I see it. I thought he was gonna like throw a bucket of paint. <laughs> I'll just shut up. You should. Is this how they load a plane? Sound effect. Okay, this is five guys. I only see one girl. <laughs> This is why you just, just order from Beast Burger. I didn't realize they made the fries at the restaurant. They do, and Five Guys fries are B tier. Uh, I agreed. A tier is Beast Burger and nothing else. Oh, he's rolling pipes. Who knows what it's going for, but he's doing it. And he's got his hat backwards like I do. Oh my gosh. Yo, that guy's fast at climbing logs. Oh my gosh. Guys, uh, so why do you think they're that fast? Same thing over and over again, yo. Trust me, it's not such a big deal. If you were also doing the same thing over and over again, you will also become this fast only. Correct? No. Maybe not this fast, but you will get close to it. Correct? No. You there is this paratha guy. I like that bugger guy. There. I like this fellow for some reason, guys. Bugger has some special skills, guys. There. Yeah. 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 Other close the paratha, that bugger fries you. Is not even looking at that okay? yeah. Now, 
so many things could go wrong there because there are customers can you see it can knock on customers face while you throw it correct no and it's just uh, you know that roti this thing no when you are throwing sometimes it can just yeah it can just break or just pull and fall and stuff like that so many things have to be right do you know that the speed the velocity the angle at which he throws it's not that simple ah huh? trust me it's not just your it's actually difficult bagger is not even looking at that bagger guys just throwing it <laughs> This is division of labor and specialization for you. Fast, fast. I'm impressed by this. This is good. It's fast. Yeah. All right, then, guys. So that's specialization and division of labor and stuff like that, guys. Yeah. So hope you all understood that. Then uh, let's move on to division of labor, all of you all, where people concentrate on doing what they're best at and all that. Guys, so let's look at the advantages and disadvantages of division of labor. So start writing down, guys. Start writing down all of y'all. Write down the first advantage of division of labor. Write down efficiency. Efficiency. Put it dash and write. when workers are trained in one task are trained in one task uh a uh, uh, trained in one task they become faster they become faster second one write down less time is wasted moving from one work bench one work bench to another to another okay guys so that's done then under disadvantages write down workers can become bored workers can become bored doing just one job second one write down if one worker is absent no one else can do the job no one else can do the job per dash production might be stopped might be stopped okay now you listen to me yeah clear yeah. so guys uh, the first point is there is nothing to explain what it tells is when you're doing the same thing over and over again that's the division of labor you will become really fast efficient means you become really fast that's easy second one in division of labor the entire production is split and each worker just just does one task no 
So then you don't have to move around. You don't have to do this and then go and do that and then go. No, you are doing only this. You get it? You don't have to commit yourself to anything else. Then you don't waste time moving around. You're sitting one place from morning to evening. You will just keep on doing that. You understand? Take like, like this card packing guy. Take this card packing guy. This, yeah? So if you take this card packing fellow, you will see that from morning to evening, this is all they do. This person. Here, this one. Yeah, Do they move around? Why not? Because it's division of labor. They are not supposed to be doing anything else. So what's the beauty of not moving around? Time is not wasted. You are in one place, no, you are not wasting time. Full time you can dedicate to this. You get it? Uh, that's that point, guys. Hope you all understood that. Then, guys, the first disadvantage that can someone send a picture of the advantages and disadvantages. All right, is it? Yeah, can someone help out Salma? Yeah, guys. First disadvantage is like what he asked me. Uh, would don't you get bored? Don't you get tired of doing the same thing? Like I said, not yet. But I've seen people. I've seen people frustrated with their jobs. They are thinking, what am I doing with my life? Whole day I'm coming and just doing the same thing over and over and over again. Correct? No. It's, it's depressing for them sometimes. They feel like, what's the purpose of my life? Is my purpose just to go and do that and then come home and then that's it? That's my purpose for the rest of my life? They get upset. Correct? No, they don't like it. Guys. You understand? They don't like that uh, feeling of doing the same thing over and over again. So once I made this cashier at Target, the supermarket, Target food city, so-called supermarket. Uh, so when I go, when they are together, I used to go to the one close to my house. This lady has been there for about eight years now. That day her face is like, mm, like that. I thought she's angry with me. My other one, I'm not upset. Why? Now I'm only mother made them job baker. So English translation is, I'm so done with this job. Yeah. Obviously, eight years from morning to evening, what is she doing? Taking the goods, scanning, putting in the shopping bag, taking money from you, giving change or taking your credit card and, uh, you know, uh, giving you the bill. Eight years, morning to evening, this is all you have been doing. Won't you get fed up? There is a tipping point note. After that, you will get fed up. Then you will want what we call as a change. Reha wanted a change, no Reha? You were tired with your existing friends. So you joined the full-time program, am I right? You're sitting in a position where you can't see me, no? I'm like John Cena to you. No? I'm like John Cena to you. No? You can see me. But you're going like this. Oh, nee. So she's like a pillow to you. Huh? She's like a pillow to you. Rahma, you're a pillow to her. Is it? May I charge? Okay, you can lean but 100 rupees for 15 minutes or whatever. She will automatically start sitting straight after that. No rehab. No, you pay and still stay. No. Still you will stay for free. All right. Then. Yes. So that's the first disadvantage. Second one. In this, one worker does one task. No. But if he gets absurd, whole work stops. Because there is nobody to do that. So let's take that uh, card packing itself. Let's say this card packing guy is absurd. Both of them are absurd. Who's going to pack the cards? No one. Because division of labor runs like that. Workers are given specific work and they're supposed to do only that. 
you get it so if they are absent the whole thing stops so is that good or bad bad no cards will be made nobody is there to pack how can you sell cards without packing exactly the entire production stops that's a mar alerty thing with the uh, division of labor and specialization days would it be slow uh, so you are asking another person to do it no that another person is already doing some other work so he will have to stop that time come and do it then that gets stopped so in division of labor mujahid each one is given their task you get it i get what you are saying you can get someone to do this no then he has to stop his work and go out a person only for that day no then what you should have is extra people already employed so that if these guys are absent they can work you can't get someone just for that day this is not cleaning no this is not security work or cleaning work where you can just get for that day work like this is specialized no you can't just get someone and do and tell now okay only for today you do you can't do it well it doesn't work like that yeah huh correct correct it will be slow correct you understand so hope you all understood that guys yeah? there so guys we did a little bit just want to recap and see if you all remember before moving on to uh added value so uh, uh, the the easiest one was what a business was so let me ask senan who's been gulping pepsi huh this is his third bottle for the day i think second bottle first bottle sure sure all right me uh, senan can you tell me what a business is profitable way goods and services are produced to satisfy needs and wants in a profitable manner you there what's your name yeah huh rafa rafa is it a unisex name because i have some friends who are uh, boy friends also who are rafa no you haven't heard boys called rafa no that is rafael nadal that's different his nickname is rafa you are rafa no yeah can you tell me three features of uh, a business activity no this no i thought no samali no samali two features just tell me two features you know No, you are Malaysia, right? You told me. What's your name, Malaysia? Tell me two pieces. Good then services are produced, okay? And resources are consumed. They aim to make a profit. They are affected by external factors. You should remember like that. We did. We just didn't know. Yeah. Are they? Where were they? Can you tell me what is the uh, opportunity cost? very good the next best alternative that is given up you understand uh uze uh can you tell me what is uh, factors of production combine the factors of production not bad clear reha can you tell me what is scarcity reha what huh i can't hear you i think what you told was correct customer satisfaction ah jai very good lack of the uh, resources available to satisfy everyone's needs and wants there is a scarcity around the world you understand people's needs are infinite like we want so many things but we have only this many things you understand because there is scarcity there isn't enough resources 
to satisfy everyone. Correct, no, Samali? There are certain things you want, but you don't have yet in life, right? Exactly. That scarcity for you. You understand? All righty then. Uh, then uh, you at the back. May, what is uh, division of labor and specialization? Very good. Doing what your best step. You concentrate and do what your best step. Clear. So, uh, may, I, I keep forgetting your name, Monk. I, I don't tell me the surname, just your name. Iman, sir. Iman, sir, is it? Iman, sir. Uh, Iman, sir. Yo, may, what is Coca Cola good at? Making drinks, no. They have 3,500 products. All of them are drinking things only. You understand? Why Coca-Cola doesn't uh, may start making smartphones like that? Their, their competitor rival tried. Yeah. And it uh, badly failed. Pepsi tried smartphones and it really badly backfired and failed. But Coca-Cola never did this. Why Coca-Cola doesn't try to be funded? Why Coca-Cola is only making drinks? Because that is what they are good at. Harini? Yeah, they have invested in so many companies and stuff like that. But they as a company, they predominantly make only beverages. Sports drinks, water, and soft drinks. That's what they mainly miss. Clear. Collaboration, you know, they don't have to get involved, no. They just Sleeping partner, just invest and the other guy will get it done. Once in a while, you just have to meet and stuff like that and tell the direction the company should take. That's it. It didn't work. Yeah, this actually came many years ago. No, no, no. After that, they scrapped the idea. This was many years ago. Get it? This was about seven, eight years ago. It failed badly. You understand? Guys, so hope you all understood that. Guys, so that is division of labor and specialization and all that. All right, is it? Guys, let's move on then, all of you all. Let's look at the concept of added value. Added value in itself simply means the difference between selling price and cost of raw materials. The difference between selling price and cost of raw materials is what we call as added value. But there is more to it. So let's say you're selling something for, um, you know, 1,000 rupees and cost of raw materials. That means the raw materials that were needed to make it was like, let's say, uh, 400 rupees. Then we say that your added value is 600 rupees. Clear. Uh, although the definition says that, there is more to it. What you're really looking at is, what are the ways in which you can increase added value? You understand? Now, uh, may Abdurrahman know? Abdurrahman, now, you know the iPhone uh, 14 Pro Max sells for about, let's say, three and a half to four lakhs. Okay? Why can't Redmi sell a phone for three and a half, four lakhs? You know, a brand called Redmi. Redmi, Oppo and all. Why they can't sell phones for four, five lakhs? At a lower this thing. Let's say they come up with a very high-end spec up phone. Yeah? Will people buy? Buy not? Something new. High-end flagship phones. Correct. So in other words, if you want to charge higher prices, you got to build your brand name. Agreed? No. You have to build your brand name. Correct? No, guys. Yeah? If you don't build brand name, guys, it's going to be difficult. Example. Now, yesterday, uh, not no, forget about that. Yeah. So let's take these uh, these handbags. Okay. So if you take this particular handbag, it's a Gucci. How much do you? So end of the day, it's just a handbag. It's not going to do something different to another handbag. What another handbag does only this handbag will also do. It's not like in this handbag, if you put 500 rupees, it will multiply into 1,000 rupees and gone. Yeah? It will be the same. Can you guess what's the price of this bag? $3,000. Slightly less than that. In, in rupee terms, it's about 5.5 to 6 lakhs. You understand? 
Reha, what do you think? Is it nice? Do you like it? No. You don't like the price or you don't like the bag? You don't like the bag? All right. I think it's nice. Yeah? Yeah. It's about $1,400, $1,500. Clear. Guys, I mean, the cost to make this, so let's say it's about four and a half to five lakhs. The cost to make this would have been somewhere around 20, 25,000. Yeah. You think just because it's that expensive, it was so expensive to make it. You think Gucci spent about one and a half lakhs, two lakhs to make it. So they are keeping 100% margin and selling bullshit. No, no, no. It didn't cost him that much. Maximum 25,000. You get it? Yes, the handbag is premium leather. It's good quality, blah, blah, blah. But you could still make it for 25,000, 30,000. You understand? Why are customers paying at least 30 times more than the cost of the product because of the brand? It's a Gucci bag, no. You understand? It's a Gucci bag. So you're paying for that Gucci logo. You're not paying for the handbag itself. You get it? So one main way in which you can add value is through a brand name. Clear. Take something like Richard Mill Watchers, Jacob & Co. Watchers, Rolex, Patek Philippe Watchers and all. They sell for quite high prices. What do these watchers, if you take watchers like Jacob & Co. and Richard Mill, some of these watchers are so expensive, you could build a massive house in Sri Lanka for that price. I'm serious. You understand? You could have a massive bungalow in Sri Lanka, guys. One watch is like $1.5 million, $2 million. There are certain Jacob & Co. for $4 million. But hey, what the fuck you can do for $4 million? Man, you can build a massive house. You can have jacuzzi in your kapusi. You understand? You could be building one of the most luxurious houses in Sri Lanka for about $4 to $5 million. You get it? Only It, it only shows the date and time. Why are people paying so much? Brand name. Brand name day. Yeah. yeah Bugatti. The Bugatti version. Jacob and Co. No, that is Jacob and Co. The Bugatti version. So there is, uh, yeah. So that's Diron's no. So it's about a million dollars. So yeah, yeah. Some people might buy it to show off this and that. No, there is, uh, there are, uh, so I thought, okay, people are really stupid to buy it. It's not. Because most of these waters are limited editions. You get it? So, yeah. Most of the time, it will go up in value. Okay. Second one, when you buy watches like this, you get to connect with people with network. You get it? So there is this hotel in Dubai called uh, Bugatti something something. You can only access that hotel if you either have the Bugatti car or the Bugatti watch. You get it? So now imagine having a watch or car, you get into that apartment you will meet all other very rich people. I don't know if you know the value of network. Mujai, you understand? Network is everything. You have friends who are rich, you will most probably end up becoming rich. Why? Because rich friends will always talk about money. So when you're also surrounded in that environment, you start realizing how money works and stuff like that. So these people buy these watches not for the date and time. Partly to show off, mostly because it holds value, it appreciates, they can meet other people, stuff like that. You get it? Yeah, but we think they're just buying it to show off, oh, so stupid they are. Rich people are not stupid. Stupid people don't get rich. You should know that. You understand? Yeah? There is a reason why they do it. You understand? But maybe, maybe Louis Vuitton clothes and Gucci bags and stuff like that, they don't hold value. They will definitely now. Uh, there is this uh, t shirt brand called Supreme. That's about one and a half, two lakhs for that t shirt. That doesn't hold any value. After you wear, you will have to throw it one day. I don't know how I will feel if I throw a two lakhs t shirt day. Yeah. Because it will inevitably fade. It's just a t shirt with Supreme. Or that Ball Main Paris. There is a t shirt called Ball Main Paris, about 75,000. Those, those are people who just want to show off. They just want to show off and stuff like that. 
maybe they just buy it for that. Doesn't make much sense because it doesn't hold value and stuff like that. Clear. So that's brand name for you. So one way to add value is through having a very strong brand name and stuff like that. Packaging is the second one. Sometimes when you pack something very nicely, you can charge a higher price. Yeah. People are willing to pay. Now, if you take these designer brands like Louis Vuitton and stuff like that, when you buy something, there is a lot of care given for packaging. It will come inside the box. Inside the box, there might be like a small envelope which will tell, thank you for your purchase. We look forward to meeting you again. Blah, blah, blah. You understand? Then inside that, there will be like a cloth bag. When you open the cloth bag, only the handbag will be there. You get it? So much. This thing is, care is given to the packaging, right? Feels good. You know, when you have to keep digging, 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 digging to open it, it feels good. Customers feel nice. You get it? Some watch boxes, you must see, man. <laughs> very complicated those boxes are you have to open and then you have to this thing and there is like a button and there is like a key sometimes you have to open it with a key and what a nice box that is it uh, all these things add value in a very ground level uh, so the packaging you can charge a higher price once I remember about 7 years ago when I was engaged so me and my wife were engaged. We were expecting to get married that year. So it was uh, February 14th. You all know what that day is, Valentine's Day. Yeah, now engaged also. No, I have to get something or not nice. No, yeah. So when shopping here and there, here and there, here and there. I remember going to Apico because there was this place called Sweet Buds or something where they have these artificial flowers with chocolates on top. Anybody has seen that shit? No, yeah, y'all have seen that? No, yeah? So, went to take that. Then, uh, took a few other things as well. Then, at the cashier, this jobless woman is looking at me and smiling. Obviously, when you see the gifts, you realize for who it is. Then, she's asking me, girlfriend to the... I wanted to tell her I'm a boyfriend to the... I'll tell like that to... I was like, uh, oh, oh. Eating that net, she was like, Ah, they are it. May lucky Abitadame Mokut net take me Valentine's. But is she expecting me to buy something for her? <laughs> I was like, Ah, thank you. Okay, okay. Then she's like, Last time at a factor, so packaging coming back to packaging. She's telling me to nicely pack and give. I don't know how to pack. I am not a factor under the nanny. Ah, eating me, but then that is, she's asking, Are you going to give like this? I'm like, I was legit going to just give like that. Then she said, That woman is also laughing. <laughs> I was thinking, why did I come here? <laughs> then, uh, then I was like, I'm not going to I'm not going to wrapping paper. So they charged me extra. It's not like she did me a favor. Huh? You understand? She charged me some 250 or 300 extra. Do you think that wrapping paper was 250, 300? That wrapping paper must be about 50, 100 rupees, very cheap, very wrapping paper. You understand? But they charge about 150 extra. What is that? Added value. The selling price of that wrapping paper was way more than the, this thing. So, and they packed it and gave, so they charged extra. So, sometimes when you're packing something, you can charge extra. You get it? And that extra will add value to you. Like you will make extra income from that. So, Apico is making extra income. From their packaging, she did a good job. Wow, nicely she packed and gave. I thought she must be a Dodubalai case. Nicely she packed. She put the that are uh, the knot and the, is it called the ribbon? Is it the this thing? And she cut the ribbon also like this. And nicely she she did a good job. I I also told her you have done a nice job like that. Yeah. Yes. So that's packaging for you. Next one, advertising. What are we looking at here? Sometimes when you do really strong, powerful advertisements, you can charge a higher price. Clear. Or you can build a brand through that. And because you are building a brand through that, you can charge a higher price. Now, some of you, uh, you know, youngsters, do this stupid shit of buying this prime sports drink. You stupid ass buggers buy that 15,000 rupee drink. Bloody, I have no other word than 
stupid as for you are you bloody mad man you think drinking that is going to make you a superhero buy a red bull if you really want a bloody energy 1000 bucks only maybe less than that why do you want to but there is a market you understand how has logan paul built that market through advertising on his podcasts this that that this and all that now that brand has become cool you understand you have that it's like cool like any of you dumbasses have drank that 1 2 3 not here there how much was it 7000 where Seven dollars. So that's where where was this? Canada. So this brand has been there for a while. You is a Dubai. How much is it there? Now, you UK. How much was it there? And yet, that's it. I it's cheap there. So why is it so ridiculously expensive here? Yeah, so yeah, so many drinks are bought now, Cadbury chocolates and all. We don't have the. It's always out of stock. So we are in Sri Lanka, everywhere. That's it. Ah, the I thought actual price itself is no, no. Ah. Clear. Yeah. Guys, yeah. okay, so, okay. Let's stick to uh, Rolex then. Yeah. So then I can't use that example because the company is not benefiting from that. No, there are other middle players who are benefiting because if the price is only one eighty, then it's not Logan Paul. It's the others who are in, uh, playing in the middle. Anyways, let, let's take Rolex. Clear. Rolex advertisements are very carefully done. They only advertise. in things like formula 1 in golf in tennis like that you will never sports they'll never do it why because they want to build a premium image no if you want to build a premium image you have to advertise in expensive sports Golf mostly rich people watch. Formula One, rich and normal people watch, but it's an expensive sport. So a lot of rich people are glued in that. Clear. Tennis, same thing. It's like again a more like a rich person sport and stuff like that. Any of you all watch Formula One? Really? One, two, three, four. So you watched last Sunday's race? No. Last Sunday's race. Rafa, you watched last Sunday's race? You watched who won? Then you didn't watch. Who else said is a fan? Who won last? So you all are not loyal fans. You all just watch one final. You went to hospital. Otherwise, you would have watched. Then so you should have at least watched the highlights. So who's your favorite driver? Who else? All the plastic fans will tell you is Hamilton only. That's all they know in Formula One. What the what the formula one? In what formula one? It's close to my heart. Don't say anything to that. Yeah, are they? It's about pit stop strategy, undercut, overcut, racing. Are they? They are little. How many crashes take place? Yeah. Formula one is also dangerous, but. Yeah, but overtakes during those round and round. WRC has a very small crowd of people watching Formula One. Has, ah, huh? yeah. You should like. In Netflix, there is a series called Drive to Survive. You watch that, you will get more interested in uh, Formula One. It shows you what happens behind the scenes. More interesting. Clear, guys. Anyone has watched Drive to Survive? Drive to Survive. There you go. Clear, guys. So that's advertising for you guys, yeah. Where you simply try to, you know, do some real in Nike. Fantastic example, right? Yeah, Nike, Adidas, and all. Fantastic examples of advertising to charge a higher price. Yeah. Now, guys, 
if you take something like nike they sponsor people like cristiano ronaldo lebron james and all that what that does is artificially creates this ment- mentality that these players are playing like that partly because of the nike shoe or partly because of adidas shoe i still remember the argentina france final the day before the final messi did a collab with adidas where he was wearing the shoe holding the ball uh, the adidas ball like that and said impossible is nothing and bagger won it all so after that yeah adidas sales would have shot up gate people would have thought partly messi was able to do it he's able to play like, play like that maybe adidas shoes are that good you get it it mentally plays a role like that now you would never think like that about dsi no dsi shoes will never think like that bata shoes will you ever think like that never those are bloody gobba shoes you understand they don't do campaigns like that if they did campaigns like that you mentally get that's why you no know, shoes are expensive nike shoes adidas shoes and all end of the day it's a shoe huh? if you are paying 50 60000 for that shoe that's up to you you can pay even i pay and buy but you must understand the cost of making that shoe would have been if the shoe is 50000 trust me the cost of making that shoe is about 5 6000 right are there no electronic chips nothing is just foam uh, a little bit of this thing a thread this that those all bloody cheap as materials you take up the brand name is the reason why people are paying you understand so uh, let's see if you all are, how good you all are with shoes guys yeah so let me just remove what i am wearing let's see if you all can guess how much i would have paid for this so this is a nike guys yeah nike running there is it a particular version i don't know so it looks like this the sole looks like this i don't know what's inside this some sort of uh um but, Fifty-six thousand, huh? Twenty-five thirty, forty to fifty. If it is from, uh, let's say, Malaysia, how much? Yeah, I bought it for like eighteen or nineteen from Malaysia. Uh, from Malaysia in Sri Lanka, it's about your right, thirty-five to forty. You understand? Yeah. Okay, let's say I paid nineteen thousand for this. Trust me, the cost of making this shoe is about could be maximum three thousand, three thousand, three thousand five hundred to make. Why are you paying more? Because of advertising, all that is done uh, to make you believe that this is worth the price. You get it? You think I would have paid nineteen thousand or twenty thousand if the DSI logo was there or if the Bata logo was there? Bullshit, no. That because the, the the advertising is not so great. All the ship ads, no, they do. How are Nike ads versus DSI ads? Okay, let's compare and see. Then you will understand. Not as well. Okay, let's see. So Nike once did an advertisement in support of feminism. You understand? Because Nike, if you take their sales, mostly men men range was selling. No, woman range was bit slow. Then Nike did this uh, dream crazy campaign, telling you know you being a woman you can do crazy shit and stuff like that, and that went quite viral, lah. Huh? Yeah, check this out, guys. If we show emotion, we're called dramatic. If we want to play against men, we're nuts. And if we dream of equal opportunity, delusional. When we stand for something, we're unhinged. It's super. It's gonna need to calm down. When we're too good, there's something wrong with us. And if we get angry, we're hysterical, irrational, or just being crazy. But a woman running a marathon was crazy. Officials tried to pull her off the course. A woman boxing was crazy. A woman dunking, crazy. Coaching an NBA team, crazy. A woman competing in a hit job, changing her sport, landing a double cork 1080, or winning 23 Grand Slams, having a baby, and then coming back for more. 
crazy, 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 and crazy. Damn. So if they want to call you crazy, fine. Show them what crazy can do. Nice head, you know, there is some power to it. You understand? You feel inspired. Now watch the DSI. <laughs> DSI is promoting their wave slippers. updates their profile picture <laughs> wonder why she's anyways would you pay 18,000 or 20,000 for their brand? Look at their campaigns. Campaigns make a big difference, guys. You understood? All these high-end campaigns, they, they convince you to pay more. Shit campaigns like this, you are not willing to pay 1,000, 2,000 more than that. Correct? No? Yeah? For their slippers and stuff. So, hope you all understood that, guys. Hope you all understood that. Clear. So, uh, why are you all packing? Ah, you all thought it was 2 o'clock and we are done, is it? Wait, wait. What if Gota Bear did an advertisement for? Oh, yeah. I don't know. Guys, so anyways, yeah. Uh, remind me to start from machineries. Ah, no, machineries, there is nothing to explain. So when you use latest machineries, you can reduce the cost. Or you can increase the selling price or reduce cost. Uh, remind me to start from this example next week. So hope you all enjoyed today's class. I'll see you all again next Tuesday. Same place, same time. Take care. God bless you all. Bye-bye.